And did the monks know you guys were in these movies? Have no. they seen any of this stuff? That, well, some of them had, but the person who is instructing us just grew a little bit more and more aware of, of, of the fact that there was something odd about the people in the room. They weren't the average tourists in the sense that we were there to promote this big movie and... Mm. Uh, and then, yeah, then it sort of grew. Do you feel like they share special celebrity level wisdom with you when you're there? <laughs> or is it just the regular wisdom that anybody gets when they come? Just the, like, regular wisdom? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of a rip. Ground level important stuff. <laughs> do you true, guys have... True. <laughs> do you have do you guys have fun going around and, and talking to these journalists or reporters or whatever in all these different countries about this movie? Yeah, it's, yeah. um... It's amazing the, the the fan base for it, and it's amazing how people how how the movies translate everywhere, mm -hmm. and everyone kind of has buy-in. It is crazy, it's isn't nuts. it? Yeah. That yeah. these comics that I guess just you know, they just translated them and printed them, and it built this base of people. Yeah. They always know tons more than we do about. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. Do they tell you things about That's your nice characters that you didn't know? Yeah, and they're kind of upset when you don't know it. They're like, "What's your problem?" Yeah. <laughs> Winston, did you get, like, did you know your character when you were a kid, and did you... Uh, well, so the whole Black Panther lore was really unexplored, but I was familiar with Black Panther himself. Um, and I was familiar with this iconic beef that he had with, uh, the man-ape, how they, that's how they called him, uh, right. Baku. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of got more information as I, I started working How did you...